playing at home, we gotta step up and uh, it's hard to lose at home. And I, so back to your question about confidence, I feel like these next stretch of home games will really boost that confidence so we can play with our fans and just in a familiar area and uh, it'll be really good for us. Short week this week, is that a good thing? Want to get back or maybe prefer some time to rest up? Uh, I mean, no, there's no time to rest really, but um, it's nice to have a shorter week. Kind of, I'm just more excited that we can play a game faster and just get that confidence up and prove that we're not as bad as we show them against Michigan. But, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to uh, find a chance to rest. Taryn, was the early start a factor at all? Um, the start of the game? Yeah, start of the game, 10 o'clock mountain time, I guess, for you guys. I mean, yeah, that might have had something to do with it. But honestly, we wake up that early to go to workouts and do uh, – meetings and everything else, so I feel like it's just, you know, it was poor execution on our part. You guys have created a whole lot in the lots of emotion. Can you just elaborate on what this has done with? It's been hard, but, you know, it's been an awesome experience. You know, we got to play at places like the Big House, uh, Nebraska, UCLA, and, you know, I never would have thought that. You know, my senior year, I'd be able to play in such big places, and I don't think our team did. But it was surprising to see how well we matched up against people. And that's, I think, what hurts the most, is just not looking at it as a loss, but seeing it as a missed opportunity. You know, at BYU, we try to show how show everybody how good we are. And, you know, you know how good you are, and your coaches believe in you, but then when it comes time to do a big test like Michigan, and then you you don't show up, it's hard. And I think that's the biggest thing that we have to learn from is that we, if we want to be taken seriously, if we want to be a big, big, big time school, that we have to go week after week and play hard teams and get the job done. You still have a schedule left. Uh, what's exciting about that? I think that, you know, it would be one thing if they were – quote unquote easy games you know there's no easy games in D1 football but I feel like a lot of people are like oh well the hard part's over but no we got to prove that even though our first four games were hard that we got to take it just as seriously and just as hard and really prove that we can execute and just dominate these next I didn't realize until just a, about a minute ago that Casey was there with you guys mm -hmm. um, what did he bring to the table? How's he doing? How nice is it to have a, a good friend back with you guys? It was awesome. You know, I didn't know that he was, I don't think anybody knew that he was coming. I remember sitting down in the plane and then all of a sudden he was rolling in his scooter. I'm like, what? Taysom's here and he just brought a positive attitude and I feel like on the sideline he did a really good job of just sitting down with Tanner and trying to just talk to him, see what he was seeing and just having an experienced guy, talk to a younger guy. It was really good. and. You know, it's awesome to have a guy like that just be on your side and be there in person. You guys play for a really emotional football coach. Every every time we, we sit with, with Bronco on Monday, he's wearing it on his sleeve. It seems like he bleeds with you guys. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, he no one takes a loss or a win much more emotionally than him. I mean, you saw him after the Nebraska game, and then you saw him after games like UCLA and Michigan, and it's hard. You know, he's like – he's our coach, you know, and we want to do good not only for ourselves but for him. And he puts in so much time and effort, and uh, it just really shows. Thanks, Taryn. Yeah. Taryn, uh, Coach Mahal mentioned that uh, he wishes he could go back and play Michigan again. If you can go back and play Michigan again, why would you want to go back and play him again? To prove that we're a better team. Yeah. You know, we can say that we're a better team, and we can think that we're a better team, but you look at the score, you look at the stat sheets, and we're not. And that, you know, I just want to just smack them in their mouth and just – right from the beginning, show them that we're a better team. Because I, like I said earlier, I don't think that they brought anything new to the table that we haven't seen already. Um, it's just really frustrating. What did you learn about yourself or about this program having faced Michigan, given, uh, the, out given the outcome? That you really got to look at yourself and, and come to grips with what could I have done better and just learn that you, you just have to be ready to go every play, every week, and you can't take time off. You can't think that, you know, the fight's coming to you. you got to go to the fight and just execute. Yeah, but the struggling of the run game, uh, it seems as if Michigan placed a lot of emphasis on pressuring Tanner, getting as a freshman quarterback, and then mm -hmm. push, putting, putting man coverage on you guys. Do you feel that, that this could be the blueprint for teams going forward as you face defenses? No, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that we saw from UCLA mm -hmm. kind of a – 
because Michigan, they were known for being a more cover three kind of man team. But then when we went out there, they just went straight man against us. And what was interesting is they actually play kind of a softer coverage on the inside guys. But like you said, um, stopping the run really kind of didn't open up the pass game. And then once we couldn't get the pass game working, it just it hurt our offense. And I, like you said, I feel like teams are going to come at us with man pressure, and even Coach and I said that, that we have to be ready to get used to that and to beat it because that's the only way we're going to get over it. This place is a lot of responsibility. You as wide receivers, don't you got to carry the load in the team? Mm -hmm. You're ready for that. Yep, I feel like we are as a unit. Good. Perfect. As a senior and a leader, how are you personally taking upon yourself to make sure your team gets past this and to motivate them? You know, you got to get on your guys. I mean, there can't be any complacency anymore. There's no more just going half speed or just you have to go. You know, we, we showed that what happens when we don't execute. And it's hard. So I think that not only me as a senior, but the entire senior group, we don't want to be known for losing. <coughs> especially against teams like Michigan and UCLA that we could have beat. And so our job is to elevate those younger guys like Tanner, like Dijon, and have them help the team and just overall just move the team forward.